All right, here's everything we need to get our LED strip up and running. We got an Arduino Mega 2560. This is the brains of the operation. We have an AB USB cable. We're gonna need that to hook the Arduino up to the computer. We have a five volt, eight amp AC DC power supply that's gonna power the LED strips. We have a 2.1 millimeter DC female power adapter that's gonna go on the LED strip so we can hook up the power supply. We have a 1000 microfarad capacitor that's gonna go on this power adapter to make sure the initial onset of electricity doesn't damage anything in the LED strip. Uh, we have four male to male wires. These are gonna hook up the power supply to the LED strip and the Arduino to the LED strip. And we have an optional 12 volt, one amp power supply. If you're not going to have the Arduino hooked up to your computer, you're gonna have to provide power and this is so you can hook it up to the wall. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's get started on hooking up our power and our data. So we got our capacitor here. Your capacitor will usually have a longer leg. Mine did, I've already trimmed it down so I could hook it up to this adapter. Uh, but that longer leg will be positive and then also it's usually clearly marked one of the sides will have a strip that for the uh, negative and you can see that matches up with this shorter post here. And we wanna make sure we hook that up properly. Um, so you wanna take your screwdriver, loosen these up Get this put in here, and then red is always po usually positive, so we want to put that in on the positive side. And then white is usually negative, so we're going to pop that in here. And we also need a ground to run to Arduino, and that's going to go in the negative as well. You want to make sure those are all in there properly, and then tighten these up. All right, just give them a little, little bit of a pull, make sure everything's in there okay. And then we want to hook these up to our LED. So red to red. We're going to use green, the middle, for our data. And then we got white to white. All right, that's all hooked up. And then green is going to go to our data pin on our Arduino, whatever you've set yours at, I have mine set to three. And then the negative is gonna go to one of these grounds on the other side, just like that. All right, now that you've downloaded and installed the Arduino software, go ahead and start that up. And the first thing we want to do is make sure the settings are okay for our board. So we want to go to Tools, Port, and you should see your Arduino listed here. If it's not selected, go ahead and select it now. And then we want to import the libraries, which I've linked in the description. And we want to go to Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library. Browse to your download area, and then just double click on the library. And it'll go ahead and add that. And to load up an example, go to File, Examples, and I'm going to start with an FX Master Auto Mode Cycle. Click that, and it'll load. And we want to make sure the parameters are correct. So my LED count is 240, not 13. And if you remember, I hooked mine up to the data pin 3 on the uh, Arduino, so I'm going to change that here. And my LED strip is a GRB uh, and not RGB, so we're going to change that here. GRB. And I don't know how to tell that uh, from looking at the strip, but if you hook it up and it's supposed to be red and it's green, well, there you go. Mystery solved. That's where you need to correct that there. That should be all the changes you need to make with this one. Uh, so then we want to upload it to the Arduino, so just click this upload button. It will start compiling the sketch. If there's any problems, um, it will list that down here. No problems, so now it's uploading it to the Arduino. It gives us uh, some stats here on how much memory it's using and everything else. It's done uploading, now your LEDs should light up and start going through their um, 
display cycles. All right, here's the lamp I made uh, with my LED strip. So this is four meters and 60 LEDs per meter wrapped around a Pepperidge Farm tin. Um, I'm using electrical tape right now to keep it in place. I didn't want to use the adhesive uh, on the strips because I'm still experimenting. I want to try out new shapes and things like that. Um, and one important thing to note if you have the plug and the wires here is to never get involved in a land war in Asia and also tape up the ends of your wires. You definitely don't want live wires and especially when you're using a metal tin. For the lampshade, I made this myself. I got some pressure sensitive styrene and some nylon silk which they use to make camera soft boxes. Uh, this was actually pretty simple to make. You just cut the styrene to the shape you want, uh, peel off the backing, apply, the, apply it to the nylon silk, cut the silk, and then I used tack glue here on the edges and to seal everything up. And then I used an X-Acto blade here on the bottom to cut a little notch so it's a little more flush on the table. And that's it. So you should have everything you need to make some cool stuff. I hope so. And if you do uh, make a video and share it, I would love to see it. And uh, get out there and have some fun.